Hello everyone, welcome back. It's time for another Kaguya Summer Reaction. This time we are up to Season 3, Episode 5. Chika Fujiwara wants to beat a rhythm. Ai Hayasaka wants to talk. Maki Shijo wants some help. So that's good, we get to cycle back to some of the other characters that we didn't get. Um, although we did get Fujiwara last episode, but somehow it feels like we still haven't had that much of her this season, so it'll be fun. Especially if, from the sounds of it, it might be related to her, another her teaching Shirogane type episode, so I'm all for that. Um, let me see. So last episode we focused again on Shinomiya and Ishigami, where Shinomiya once again sort of took an interest in trying to help Ishigami, this time trying to help him improve his um, academic abilities. Well, actually she did that again to help him help prevent him failing last time. But this time his goal was actually to try to do better um, in order to potentially impress or catch the attention of Tsubame, who is a fairly popular girl, one of his senpais in the um, cheer squad, but who basically seems, you know, out of his league uh, at the moment. So Shinomiya suggested try, you know, there are various ways to improve oneself. Um, and one of them ought to be try to get a good score in the exam, as well as a few others. In this case, he decided to try studying really hard, she was going to help him, and again, you know, this was something that she put her own time into helping him with, despite the fact that she knew that it would um, detract from her own ability to study, and her own goal is to try to surpass Shirogane. But despite that, she was still willing to put in her time to help Ishigami because she believes that he can improve. And on the flip side of that, Ishigami, feeling that that strength of her belief in him doesn't want to let her down, and so is also willing to put in effort, not only, you know, to for the goal of trying to impress Tsubame, but, but also as a form of gratefulness for Shinomiya helping him. You know, if she's believing in him, then he wants to show that that belief is founded, so... I really like those episodes. We've had sort of three instances of that now, um, when she helped him previously to avoid failing the exam. Um, apparently she's helped him sort of behind the scenes in the sports festival. Not, not in the sports festival. We discovered in the sports festival that she also helped him behind the scenes with some of the you know, business with um, that creep dude that he ended up punching. Yeah, so I, I really enjoy, <laughs> I really enjoy that sort of um, storyline that's been threaded through. And then we also had a vulnerable Shinomiya at the end of the episode, after being exhausted by having a sleepover with Fujiwara, who just basically talked her ear off until Shinomiya's brain was fried and all of her natural defenses were down. And we saw just uh, Shinomiya, who wasn't, you know, playing any games or anything, and just a bit mind-fuddled and almost, you know, being honest with Shirogane over the phone, except that she fell asleep. <laughs> so, just leaving everyone tortured there. But that's okay. That's still fun. We wouldn't expect anything to be resolved this early. But now we are on to episode 5, and... That looks like, we're, yeah, we get some Fujiwara, we get some Hayasaka, and we get some Shijo, so that's all good things. So this is a full-length timer-based reaction, which means that I won't be showing much of the episode, and most of the sound will have to be cut out, because otherwise YouTube is going to block it, pretty much. But I will show parts of it to help you sync up your own copy so that you can watch along with me. I'll also be doing a countdown. So, here we go, episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, now. to practice my rubbing. <laughs> 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 
I need you to choke the life out of my brother. I always thought that I mean, they are real quick thinking. My brain certainly can't work fast enough to wrap. <laughs> Not only did I knock her out. That's already got Chica interested. It's like, oh. See, expression, an expression for the sake of love is something that will totally get Fujiwara. Even despite her misgivings. <laughs> Volume warning. He's amazing. <laughs> I feel like you should know by now, Fujiwara. Too many things to focus on. That explains a lot. I really did think that she maybe might have known more about rap. I'm amazed that she'd bother. On the other hand, she does have a sense of pride as well. So she's actually practicing so that she can teach him. I suppose all you need to do is be like one step ahead <laughs> of your student.
going to bury you so brave. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a twist <laughs> now teach me how to rap Well, it continues. See, sometimes bleeping out. Sometimes bleeping a swear is also very hilarious. Her ears must be very highly tuned. Oh, right, she still has the misunderstanding. Right, how to, <laughs> how to resolve that problem. I suppose she can be more honest with... Yeah, she can be honest with him about it, so... <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Fujiwara has some some confidence in him.
<laughs> Who's not about the organs of a sea slug invade her ears? This would be so confusing. <laughs> Shinami are dropping beats as well. And there you go, just being honest. Blue ass. This uh... Well, that's a bit much. You all really are like sisters, huh? <laughs> that was great. What is this season? <laughs> the Tsundere Senpai.
I love how Ishigami just loves that. That's right, because they ended up getting... They found they had a shared interest in doing their volunteer work, didn't they? Savasa, we have a name. <laughs> that was my thought as well. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so meta. She really is. She really is like Shinomiya. I know her hair just like <laughs> wiggles by itself. Idiots.
She's so rude. Oh, custom ending. This is a fun style. Man, this season has been great. We're only five episodes in now, right? Which means we're still not even, not quite halfway. The past two seasons have been 12 episodes each, I think. So, yeah, just just shy of halfway, assuming this one isn't shorter. We've had a bit of stuff. We had Hayasaka singing in that karaoke episode. And then this time, we had a bit more stuff in it too, with like the rapping and stuff. That was really fun. I liked it. Not only that, we got the different ending as well, a unique one. I don't think we had one for season two. Because um, season one, we just had the random, you know, Chica dance. Season two, I don't think we had anything. Although we did have like a slightly changing ending. But not not like one with an episode where it was just a completely different ending. This was a super fun episode. Like in its entirety. We managed to fit in another Fujiwara teaching uh, episode with a twist, because in this case she actually didn't know anything, or not really enough about it. So she had to teach herself, and Shiragane in a way had to help her do that before she could actually teach him. But again, we still had the same elements of her now feeling reluctant because she knows what it's like to teach him. <laughs> but... At the same time, finding a reason to. She can't help but try to teach, both because of her own pride and because she wants to help him. She always gets impassioned by the thought that she can help someone who wants to express themselves, not just for the sake of expressing, but you know, usually to convey something to another person as well. That is, um, you get that sense that she finds that very important. That's the thing that really you know, gets, gets Fujiwara going. Because that's the same case with the singing, the Soran dance, even the volleyball stuff. You know, that was because, oh, what, you know, wants to, wants to be able to impress someone. So it's like, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll help you in that case. Rolling very naturally into the next part where, you know, the point of this was because he wanted to convey to Hayasaka the, this, you know, this expression of feeling because it really struck him when she was honest and had sort of said that you need to, that no one will love you when you're acting, and he thought that's, you know, I guess he really felt for her in that moment. And, you know, she was sort of vulnerable to him, but he wanted to sort of help her, I don't know, see things differently, I guess? But yeah, it's a real interesting mix now, all of these, all of these people. And it's good, she got a chance to express herself there, and Shinomiya got a chance to express herself, 
even if things do seem a little more like weird and sort of mixed up now. But yeah, um, Hayasaka really does sacrifice a lot to do her job, and you can see how it would really hurt that, you know, despite being perfect at her job, and naturally I think she does, you know, care for Shinomiya as well, Hayasaka also wants to be able to experience some of, you know, this whole life thing. She's helping Shinomiya to do it, because Shinomiya is as much of a victim of that, of her own family. But, you know, there's this sort of balance, you know, Shinomiya is being helped to have a real life, and, um, Hayasaka shouldn't necessarily have to have given up the chance to have, you know, real other friends as well, so... A fun moment that I, in a moment, found, you know, strangely touching as well, <laughs> that, that she could, you know, get that off her chest to say, you know, to Shinomiya, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm helping with all this stuff, I'm, and sometimes it's really frustrating. <clears throat> and then the next slightly disconnected part of the episode would be another meeting between the boys. Uh, Ishigami and Shiragane with um, Shijo again. And it's funny that they've got this, that they've also kind of developed a, a weird, <laughs> a weird friendship. I guess through this like shared problem that they have. Um, all three of their inability to, to confess, despite the two boys trying to act as if they're so, you know, experienced and wise. And, you know, giving their advice that, oh, you need to, you need to confess as soon as, you know, as soon as possible. You shouldn't sit there waiting and all this sort of stuff, but, you know, that's literally them. Although, to be fair, Shirogane's the one who's been guilty of it for the longest time. Ishigami, maybe you can excuse him. It hasn't been so long since he, um, joined the cheer squad and whatnot. But yeah, Shijo Maki really is a good addition to the show, and the way that she interacts. Um, I'm really enjoying the way that the show continues to evolve, how it can manage to keep the same kind of interactions, but keep tweaking them so that they're always interesting and funny. Anyway, I guess that next week we'll be pretty much hitting the halfway point, or close to it, and, and I will of course be looking forward to that. In the meantime, please tell me your thoughts on the episode, in the comments down below. If you like this reaction, then throw me a like. If you didn't, then hit the dislike button, though preferably tell me why so I can improve. And until then, take care, and I'll see you next time.